Traders, FS Pecoletti here. Today is Friday, August 16th, and I'm going to be analyzing Bitcoin starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on Bitcoin monthly, I'm definitely still looking at this as a one, two, three, four, and I think we need to go up and make a wave five. Most wave fives do take out the high of wave three, so it probably will make a new all time high. But if it really is a wave five, then shortly after that, it probably will make a pretty big move to the downside. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, definitely looks very, very corrective. Went right to the Fibonacci, 50% Fibonacci, grabbed this uh, rally base rally area. Kind of seems like a good place to end the wave 4 and potentially start a new uptrend for the wave 5. So keeping that in mind, let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily, we still don't really have a break of stretch to the upside, but it does look like the end of a crutchin to me. It looks like impulsive up, likely a wave 1, probably now likely in a wave 2, and I think eventually we are going to go up and make a 3, a 4, and a wave 5 of wave 5, because a wave 5 should have at least 5 waves on these sort of time frames. So let's head down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement on this move up right here. I think this is likely a wave A right here. It definitely looks like it made three waves up, likely a wave B. Maybe we got one more little push down because it looks like one, two, three, maybe four, five, go down to this 50% fib level, maybe even the 61.8, making a wave C. Once we get that nice Fibonacci bounce, nice break of starts to the upside, nice engulfing move to the upside, that's what I'm going to be looking for to confirm this is a wave one, wave two, and then up for the wave three of wave five. So taking it down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, now if it just goes up and breaks Strutzer, then that definitely would turn me into a buyer. But based on the higher time frames, I think there is a pretty good chance it is going to drift down to at least a 50 or a 61% like I was showing on the four hour time frame. But if it does bounce from a fib level, go up and break Strutzer, or if it goes up now and breaks this Strutzer, either scenario, that is what's going to turn me into a buyer. And that's what's going to tell me that this potential wave 2 is over and that we are potentially back into the wave 3 of that bigger 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 trend that is Forming on like the daily weekly time frame. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.